Well, I don't know, fellas. It may be that it's true. It's a call to pooling because you got a pool on it quite a lot. Okay, I left these loose last time I worked on this thing. Oh man, what's it been? It's gotta have been at least five years. I think I put this thing in the box about five years ago. Uh, because it pissed me off and I couldn't figure out what was going on with the fuel lines so uh, I've kind of put it in there and forgot about it whoa whoa hey guys I didn't hear you come in there man you should at least knock next time before you come in you, you startled me I'm getting older I can't handle my heart can't handle that kind of stuff but uh, anyways today uh, we're I don't know how much of that you heard but we are, we're in here working on a pool on wild thing uh, this saw, I've had this thing for, man, like probably 15, 20 years, quite a long time. And I bought it when I was young and first married and couldn't afford a real nice saw. I think I got this thing for about a hundred bucks. I don't remember exactly, but it was fairly cheap. But basically what happened is after years of reliable service, uh, the thing finally, the fuel lines finally went bad on it. I think I left it sitting one year with some fuel in the gas lines and got lazy about it, didn't run it dry. And basically what can happen there is that fuel, the modern fuel will eat right through these rubberish or whatever the heck this stuff is, plastic rubber lines that they put on here. Uh, it's usually Tigon branded tubing. Uh, but anyways, so I did some research five years ago or so and tried to get this thing uh, relined. I put brand new fuel line on everything, but I never could get it to run right. And I didn't know if it was a fuel line, a fuel mixture adjustment, but that didn't make sense because it ran great before the fuel lines went bad. So I expect it's something about the way I routed the fuel lines or either I didn't get them routed correctly or possibly I used too large of a diameter uh, OD tubing. And when I pulled it through the hole down there in the tank, uh, that basically it pinched it. It's not allowing enough. It's causing a restriction there. I don't know what's going on, but... I think I'm starving for fuel or I've got something flip-flopped around the wrong way. So today in this video, we're going to try to get you in here close, probably have to switch over to the GoPro a little bit and get you some close-ups of what's going on inside of here. Okay guys, I've uh, loosened some of this stuff up just to speed the video up here and keep it moving along for us here, but we're going to go ahead and get the, get the top cover off out of the way, get the air filter cover out of the way, pull the air filter out. Uh, there's a couple of nuts in here. You'll need a uh, 5 16 wrench to get that loose. Uh, I went ahead and broke those loose beforehand. Take out our nuts. I'm going to put that one down. And we've got another one here. Oh, now we should be able to wiggle this carburetor loose. But before we go too far, we want to get this, this the, the throttle is a just a hard wire or a hard uh, linkage there that goes over and we want to disconnect that so what you do is you push that forward and you just pull this straight out and you probably won't be able to see it let me see if I can do it this way pull this straight out like that and pop it out of the way perfect okay there's a wire here I want to disconnect that pull that out of the way uh, your choke lever may fall off on this model I've had it happen before it's fine, it's fairly easy to get back on. So we're gonna pull this straight out and just take a look at the line routing that I did last time. I think that this could be my problem. Uh, I don't recall which one of these I dropped the fuel filter down through, but according to this guy right here, the top line should go directly to the fuel filter. So this is the top line and I've got it going to the primer bulb. So that's wrong. So it looks like this one here and what we're going to do right quick is find out which one and there went my choke lever, but we'll get that back on. No problem. There may be some gas in here. Ugh. 
figure out which one has the fuel filter. Okay, it's the front one. It's this one here. It goes straight in. It has a filter. So it looks like I've got those two lines reversed. So let's see if that's all, all of our problem. And there is some fuel in here. Not a whole lot, but normally I run these things dry, but I was so mad at this thing that uh, that didn't happen. Okay, so let's get it flipped back up here. So what we're looking at here, come out of there. It looks like I've got these two lines reversed. So this one should be going to the primer bulb and this one should be going over here. So let's see if we can get those off. If you've got a real small pair of pliers like this, that this can help you quite a bit. Just kind of breaking these things loose, turn them in a, in a fashion like this, back and forth. Okay, that one's going to come right off of there. There's proof right there that the, it's been sitting for five years. These things are seized on there. There we go. Ugh. Okay, and of course fuel's coming out. Okay, so we're just going to put that one straight over here. Hopefully that one's long enough to get to that one. Okay, so that was definitely a problem. I had those two lines flippity flopped around. And so I, I rerouted this one so that it actually went back behind these other ones here. So the only other possibility, if this thing doesn't run right, is possibly I have the, the uh, primer bulb one line you know, off. Maybe I have one on the wrong one. So if that's the case, I'll have to take the side cover off uh, because I think it does matter. It'll only go one direction I'm pretty sure but I guess what we could try right now since we know there's some fuel in there so we could give this thing a few pumps and see if we see fuel coming through the line and it's dripping out of the carburetor so that's probably a good sign that we're pushing fuel so let's go ahead and uh, just for your sake, let's take one more look at this. This front line here, the one that goes through the tank, goes to the top. This bottom line goes over to the primer bulb. Now I'm not sure if it goes to the top or the bottom uh, fitting on the primer bulb. That's still to be determined. The other one from the primer bulb goes down to the lower bottom right one, the one that's deepest down inside of there that's the hardest to do. That one is the one that goes to the other side of the primer bulb. So. Now all that's left to do is stick all this back together and see if we uh, had any success with this. There we go. Half choke. I'm going to let it rev up like that for a minute or so. Before it was dying right here, right there, see? but that may be a fuel mixture issue.
We've got some more work to do to get her to idle, but that's the best she's ran in over five years. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We'll come back with an update and figure out what's going on with this thing.